How can someone who turns out to be morally corrupt uh, produce beautiful work? And the questioner cites, I can't remember the name, but there's a, apparently a very excellent designer for Christian Dior who said some monstrous anti-Semitic uh, things. And you could give many other examples. Wagner, who, some of whose music is, is very good, and yet he was a proto-Nazi. Dostoevsky, you know, who was an incredible uh, uh, mystic. There are great actors, which you would shudder to hear what their uh, political views are. There are great surgeons, for instance, who operated in the Nazi concentration camps and as part of the program of the Nazis amputated perfectly healthy organs as a quote experiment. So uh, a skill or achievement artistic or any other does not entail a great person. What is true is that human beings have the capacity, and not fully, but very large extent, to, to have the equivalent of a split personality. Now, you know, a split personality in a discussion of psychosis is someone who has broken themselves into two, and each is, is more or less autonomous, and it becomes automatized. So there is no one person there. He's Bill, and then he's Tom, and then he's Bill. Now, in a non-automatized way, many people have divided themselves into two. They have one sense of life, one implicit philosophy in one realm, and a very different one in another, which they may not even be conscious of uh, uh, the difference. The commonest of all splits is between work uh, and life. In work, most people are required to have a minimum of rationality, a commitment to, to reality, purposeful behavior. So they are much better people than they are in life, where uh, they come home, there's no standards uh, that they know, they have no goal, and they just uh, uh, fling their uh, emotions around. And those can be completely contradictory to the discipline uh, that they have uh, in work. And you see this uh, all over the place, great achievers, who are ordinary, ordinary people uh, at home. If you ever saw the movie Breaking the Sound Barrier, um, a long, long ago, that was one of the uh, movies that Ayn Rand thought was extremely eloquent in capturing this point because it was a test pilot and a businessman who was a tremendous hero and then came home and he was uh, absolutely nothing. He was Babbitt, he was the guy next door, and she thought that that split was horrendous. But that split is uh, extremely common, and that's how this phenomenon takes place. And the moral that I would say, if you want to know a man, it's not enough to watch him at work. I would say, take off three weeks, follow him around one week at work, one week at home, and one week on vacation. And after that, you have a much, much better idea of... Uh, of this person as a total. In fact, you may have a better idea than he does because you're trying to interrelate the three and he may not be.